What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Green Hell. This is episode 7 and today we're going to be looking around to find a spot to build our base. Now I know that we've got a base back in the starter area, but it's so far away from all this really cool stuff. Like look at this place. It's so beautiful and awesome. Uh, at the end of the last episode she said that somebody might show up, but nobody showed up. But before we run around and look for a spot to build our- one of these stinking birds, holy crap will you be quiet. Um, before we run around and decide where we're going to build our base at, um, we're going to, there's a bunch of notes, uh, laying around that we're going to read real quick. And we also need to get some food. We currently have no food other than a couple candy bars that I don't want to eat yet. We've been searching around for a few episodes now, and I think it's time to settle down a little bit. I don't want to rush through the story and, you know, have this game end so quick. But while that's, uh, while it's cooking, I found a pot. Uh, for water, so we're going to keep that for sure because it definitely collects more than the uh, coconuts. And the turtle shell over here, I decided to put on this water purifier, I think that's what it is, and it is really, really good. Um, we got some cages here. What is this? Even found some cages. Someone was being held here. Any idea who it was? I... I don't know. Okay. Got it. Why would I know who was being held here? Like, I feel like you're, oh gosh, like, I feel like Mia is working with these people. Like, I don't know. I just get that feeling like she knows more than she's leading on. And I just feel like there's something fishy going on. But let's take a look around, see if there's anything else that we can find. There's a weed whacker. Whacker, 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 whacker. You don't think that the tribe attacked them, do you? It could be why this place is empty. The Jabahuaca are not violent. If it was them, they must have been provoked. This place almost looks untouched. I mean, if they were at war, wouldn't they have burned it down? They would have never started a fire in the jungle. They consider it sacred. Right, right. Okay, over and out. They would never start a fire in the jungle. Never, ever. Come here, parrot. Give me your flesh. No! All the rain. I blessed the rains down in Amazon. They put my fire out every time that I am gone. <sighs> they even have a microwave here. In the middle of the jungle? What for? For making pizza. I think they used it to dry out the drugs. It's uh, one of the steps in manufacturing narcotics. Right. Anything you can use? What? I don't want to get high out in the middle of the jungle. You already did. Jake, I meant tools and such. Um, no. Too bad. Can we use the microwave? Ooh, there are drugs inside of the microwave. Can we take them? Damn. Uh, read. Okay, so this was kind of like a log of what they were producing, I guess? I don't know. Um, there's a note here. Okay, so this looks like what they were being paid. Charge $200 for wasting a good portion. Way to go, Daniel. Ooh, a letter. Dearest Marcella, I apologize for writing so late, but we're working around the clock. I barely have the time to grab something to eat or get some shut-eye. It's safer here in the jungle than in the city. The heat is annoying though, and there are bugs everywhere. I'm bitten all over, but I'm not complaining. The money's good. I already have half of what we need. I met a guy, Rawl, who promised to help us. He says he knows smugglers who ferry people by boats. It's supposed to be safer than going by land. I will have to pay him extra for getting me in touch with them, but don't worry, I'll take care of it. Soon I will be able to come back to you and take you away from this hell. Wait for me and take care of yourselves. Yours, Tiago. The only spot I haven't really looked at is over here. Okay, so there's a note here. Shared bag of leaves with mower or shred, pour acid, whatever it needs, put in barrels, pour gasoline. Da da da, throw away leaves dry. What the heck is that down there? It looks like a bear. We're gonna travel. We're gonna go from down here. We're gonna go all the way up through here. And if we could find a really cool spot in between there, then that's where we'll build. But um, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna, we're just gonna go and find a spot to, to, to build a base. Somebody had made camp over here. Bamboo smoker. What? What is this? Just found a cave over here. You know what that means? It's exploration time. Yeah, I found a campsite in the cave. 
Looks abandoned. I think the owner isn't coming back. I hope you found something useful. Might be able to learn a thing or two from the way the shelter was built. That's great. Someone was watching the docks from here. Found some broken binoculars in the cartel's patrol schedule. Any ideas? I don't know. The competition, maybe? Or maybe a journalist looking for a story. Ugh, journalists had to be crazy to come out here. Then again, maybe I'm not one to talk. We ended up here too. Well, I'm not really there. Right, I know, I know. I, I'm in the jungle. Right. Over and out. I am convinced that she is freaking evil, man. Like, you cannot convince me otherwise. She's working with the drug cartels, like she has to be. Like, there's no way she's not. It seems like the further along in the game that we get, Mia just becomes, like, less and less caring. Like, she's just asking us questions that we obviously would not know the answer to. She just doesn't... Something, something's, something's off. Something's definitely off with her. Oh, getting tired. Need to stop running. So do a spot like this. Like, can... This is a new map location, so where is this at? Um, where? Is there a cave? Is that a cave? It is a cave. Oh, I missed this cave before. Oh, there's another cave here. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, you bastard. Damn it. I didn't hear it till it was too late. Also, I hope you guys, like, I hope the quality's better. I built my new PC, and I'm able to run games on max settings, and I'm super excited about it. I've never been able to do that before. Not only that, but, like, I'm able to do that and record at the same time which is super awesome. So this is just a dead end cave. Okay, well, I mean, that would be a cool spot for a base, but like, I wanna build, I wanna build my own. I wanna do my own thing. I want to create, and I don't want to be living in a cave with these wall vaginas. It's just gross. So we're kinda tired, kinda, kinda tired. We've been running literally all day. We're gonna have to sleep. I did not anticipate this. This is bad. Okay, well, we're gonna sleep right here on this lovely, lovely rock. We're probably gonna get worms, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Three worms, three freaking worms, all because we didn't sleep whenever we needed to. That's not good. Jeez, let me... Come on. Oh, I'm out. Oh, great. Oh, gosh. I am dead. I am 110% dead. Uh, that's not good. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, hey, buddy. You gonna, you gonna hang out with me while I die? I appreciate it. We just found fuel. This might come in handy. <laughs> if there's a jeep here, who knows what else I can find. Right? So we've got fuel, now we can do the generator to do the the, the elevator. We're not gonna do it though, because we're gonna build a base. As much as I want to. Hey Mia, I found some fuel. I can finally try to get that elevator up and running. You think that's a good idea? Yeah, I mean... Someone built an elevator in the middle of the jungle. It has to lead to something I could use. You're right. Huh. I'll be waiting for good news then. Yeah, so we have fuel. We have another badon or whatever it's called. Canister uh, for Wawa's. So that's good. Right here is my camp uh, that we made before. And this was kind of the area that I was wanting to build. Yeah, this is... Excuse me? Who's hissing? I will whack you with a stick. But we're gonna look around the spot for the perfect spot to build. This is the most perfect spot of spots. Okay, so I decided against that spot. Just too hard to build there, to be honest. It's kind of hilly, and it's just too difficult to find a spot to actually build. <gasps> Damn it! <gasps> got too freaking excited about finding a spot. Now I'm gonna die! Damn it! Right here. This is where we're gonna do it. Okay, so we're gonna, this is where we're gonna build. And I'm going to go ahead and get started and I will update everybody whenever I have, you know, something going here. Cause I'm pretty, pretty excited to start building again. <laughs> 
Go away. You will fail. You are pathetic. Just give up. Just shut up. This is not freaking good, man. I've had worms for freaking ever, and I'm out of bones, and I can't find bones. I've got minus six sanity every few seconds. I'm struggle bussing, man. Like, I can't do anything. I've barely done anything to the base, and I had to sleep, and I got worms, and then I ran out of bones, and now I'm just going crazy. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I even made a bed, and I still got worms. And my fire's out. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? No. Starting a whole new base was a dumb idea. I don't have any bones to make bone needles, which I need. Okay, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this will help. Okay, now we should be able to just at least get all of the freaking worms taken out of us. Also, it hasn't been raining and that's been causing me a lot of issues. Like it literally hasn't rained one time since I've been over here, not at all. Okay, so after about two and a half, three hours of struggling, I finally got rid of all of my ailments other than one parasite, but that was because I had to uh, drink water that was, wasn't was safe. I literally, like, I had to stop recording because it was taking way too long. I've died like six or seven times. I've gotten like 12 worms. I've been attacked by natives. I have been attacked by jaguars. I have been run up on by everything in the freaking game. I've died to snakes. I've died to bees. I've died to ants, but everything's fine. I'm going to go ahead and work on the base because this is what I wanted to do. I thought I could get it done in a couple hours, but here we are. I've been playing for about six hours now just to just to get this one little thing. And it literally like I've been playing all this time hasn't rained a single time not once i don't know what i did but the game's broken it's just not raining anymore but that's fine uh we have a water uh collector here which takes a while like this turtle shell has been sitting here this whole time and hasn't had a drop of water in it but i'm gonna go ahead and continue working on uh this little base area i want to build an actual house none of this open wall open floor plan kind of crap like i want to have walls we're going to build a wall okay so just a little update here i have been working on getting kind of like the layout of what i want um we've obviously got our bed and our fire and stuff here and i went ahead and just kind of extended this out on both sides a couple i'm gonna have a door right here um and i wanted to put the smoker or the uh drying rack right here uh, so I had to extend this out a couple just to give room for that. So nobody comes and steals my food. Two hours later. <laughs> They just came and destroyed my water collector. What the f bro? Been working so hard. I just want my base to be done. Why they gotta do that to me, man? I'm so irritated right now. That's what you need, banana leaves. Need two more, two more banana leaves. Put your stick on the fire real quick. That way it don't go out. A lot of good it did, you did it. Yeah, I've already got a new one built. Yeah, I'm gonna harvest your f flesh now, you f sucker. Okay, I think that's where we're going to call it for today. I've I think I've done enough. I've been playing. Uh, it's 7.30 now, almost 7.30 p.m. I've been playing since like 1, noon, 
12 30 something like that i don't remember but we've got our new little spot here i might do some stuff off camera uh just to clean the base up a little bit you know get some walls up you know get secure maybe set up some traps things like that because apparently these guys like to come over here and touch our stuff i really hope you guys enjoyed the episode this one took me a long time so it would be awesome if you could like the video and subscribe if you haven't already so i'll see you guys in the next one boop bye bye